Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a few queries related to the Siler table, board table, and reserve table. So in the previous session, already we have uh, created these three tables and also we have inserted a few rows in these tables. So already in the previous uh, videos, we have executed a different queries related to a single table. But here we are writing the three tables. Okay, so we need to relate one table with the another table that that will be done with the help of a foreign key, right? So Siler's table, which is having the attributes SID, S name, rating, and age, and a board table, there are attributes called board ID, board name, and a color. And the table is having the three attributes SID, BID, and day. So in the sailor table, we have taken SID as a primary key and board table BID as a primary key. And in the reserve table, we have, we have taken SID and BID as a primary key and they will be acting as a foreign key, right? So by using this one, we are relating with the remaining two tables. Now, we will see the queries finding a names of a sailor who reserved the boat number 3. So start writing the query here. So we have to find out the names. So write down select yes name from silers from silers and what we have to get the, get the details so silers who reserved the board number three. So the reserved board number, I mean the uh, the reservation details will be available in reserves table. So we have to include that table also. Reserves. All the reserves, I mean, uh, the sailor who reserves the boats will be uh, available in this particular reserves table. So, so, we have to include that one. So, select S name from sailors, comma reserves, where, where we need to relate two tables. We need to relate these two tables. So, that two tables will be related with the common attribute. What is the common attribute among these two tables? SID. So, where sailors dot SID is equal to reserves dot SID. So this will relate these two tables. But what we have to get who reserve the board number 3. So here we need to write the logical operator and so board ID is equal to 3. So this will give the all the sailors name who reserve the board number 3. So once more than one sailor can reserve the board number 3 right. So Name of the sailors who reserved the boat number 3 will be getting like this. And coming to the second one, here we have to find the names of the sailors who reserved the red boat. So here we are getting the sailors name based upon the color of the boat. Right. So start writing the query. So SQL from. So select S name from where the S name will be. The S name will be in sailors. So from sailors sailors comma so reserved reserved means the reserved details will be in reserves table so reserves and also you can observe we need to get the details who reserved the red board red means the color of the board so the color of the board will not be available in reserves the color will be available in boards so we have to include this name also board where we need to link these things first of Reserved sailors reserved. So we need to link these two tables sailors and reserved with the common attribute. The common attribute is SID and SID. So write on the same thing sailors dot SID is equal to reserves dot SID. So this is nothing but our natural join without any condition based upon the common attributes we are joining the tables. Right, uh, is this enough? No, because we need to get the details who reserve the red color boat. So we need to find out the color. So color is not available in this reserves table. So color is available in boards table. So we need to relate these two tables, reserves and board with the common attribute BID. So you can write it as and after this one, sailors.sid and reserves.sid and reserves dot boat id is equal to 
boats dot boat id so now we have related all these three tables okay we have related all these three tables is this enough no so we need to check for the red boat and and boats dot color is equal to red boats dot color is equal to red so we are relating the three tables and finding the condition boats dot color is equal to red so that we'll get the complete sailor names who reserved the red color boat now so hope you understood the second one so first let me write down the queries here after completion of this one i will execute each and every query in the mysql command line prompt right so so next one finding the colors of boats reserved by sandeep so write down the query here so first we need to select color color from the color is available in boards from boards so we need to find the boards color of boards reserved so reserved means reserves table so we need to include that one reserves comma and here we have to search based upon the name okay given name so this name is available in sailors so you can observe sailors so we need to include that one also sailors and now start uh, relate one table with another table so where where class now relate one table with another table first so the boat id i mean the boats table is related to reserves so boats dot boat id is equal to reserves dot boat id and this is not enough because we are we are searching the details of boat with respect to the name name is in sailors so we need to relate the reserves with the sailors with a common attribute that is sid so here we are relating one table with another table with respect to the common attribute here the common attribute between sailors and reserves is sid so sailors dot so uh, here i write reserves dot sid is equal to sailors dot sid so is this enough no so we need to search with respect to the name so and sailors dot yes name is equal to give the name so which we need to compare right so name so this is the query to execute i mean to get the colors of a boards who reserved the reserves by the given name okay and the last one finding the names of the sailors who have at least one boat who have at least one boat so that means simply relate all these three things so that we will get the details of sailors who reserves at least one boat right so here the query will be sql so select we need to get the names so s name from s name will be in sailors first write down the sailors so who have at least one boat the reserved will be in reserves table so comma reserves and we need to uh, check whether it was reserved with one boat or not so that relation will be, will be with the help of boat id so boats boats where relate each terms like sailors dot sid is equal to reserves dot sid and relate the reserves table with the boats table reserves dot boat id is equal to boats dot boat id so this will give the complete details of a sailors who reserved at least one boat at least one boat right so this is the query we need to execute this one so here we are relating one table with another table with the help of a common attributes that we call it as a natural join right so this is how we need to write the queries now i will implement the same queries in the mysql i will i will explain you by showing by executing these queries in mysql so let's move on to the mysql command line hello friends so just now we have seen the queries some queries related to the sailors reserves and boats table now i will show you the execution of those queries 
So we have seen the queries for the following questions. Is finding the names of sailors who reserve the boat number three, finding names of sailors who reserve the red boat, finding colors of boats reserved by Sandeep, and finding names of sailors who reserved the at least one boat. Right now, let us open the MySQL command line. So, give the password, I'll clear the screen. Now, use the database because we have created the table sailors uh, uh, reserves and the boats in the YouTube database. So use the YouTube database. Now let us check with the tables first. Show tables. Yes, boards, results, and sailors. Let us check whether the rows are available. Select uh, star so that we'll get all the detail. So from boards, yes. So select star from sailors, yes. Select star from reserves. Yes, so we had a few rows available in all these three tables. Now let's let's start executing this one. So finding the names of sailors who reserved the boat number three. So for that, what we have to do? So we need to be use a select command to need to retrieve the data. So select instead of using the star, we need to get the names of the sailors. So s name from so s name will be available in sailors table. So I'll write here sailors comma. What we have to do sailors who reserved boat number so reserved means it will be available in the reserves table so reserves okay and what we get boat number three so boat number will be available in reserves sailor name will be available in sailor so we need not uh, uh, include the boats table also so write down the condition where we need to relate these two tables with the help of a common attribute so the common attribute among these two tables is sid so sailors dot sid is equal to reserves dot sid and that's not enough so here we need to check with the board number three and bid is equal to three so here we can write it bid is equal to three right c so the sailor name who reserved the boat id three is ramu let us check here so first let, let us check here Boat ID 3, so boat ID 3 in the reserves table we can check because the, uh, the link will be in the reserves table, right? So in the reserves table, the boat, the boat ID is reserved by the 104 SID. So what's the name of 104 SID? It's a Rambo, right? So hope you understood this one. So we are just relating these two tables with the help of a common attribute. So SID is a common attribute. So sales.sid is equal to reverse.sid and BID is equal to 3. So in the reserves table, BID is equal to 3 is uh, reserved on 21st February 2021 by Siler ID 104. So now we can get the name from this particular Siler ID. So 104 Siler ID name is ROM. So the name, the Siler who reserves the boat number 3 is ROM. So hope you understood this one. Right. Next, the finding names of a Siler who reserves the red boat. So the same thing. So select S name from sailors and uh, here we we need to get the reserves who reserves the red boat so also include the reserves comma and here we are checking with the help of a color so color will be in the board so we need to include this boards also boards where link the thing with the common attributes so sailors dot sid is equal to reserves dot sid and also we need to relate the reserves table with the boards table so reserves dot bid is equal to boards dot bid and see boards dot color is equal to red see we got uh, two names who reserves the red color boards okay let us check whether it is right or wrong See, color boards color red. Okay, so red color boat ID is two. Red color is bo red color boat ID is two. So we need to find the sailors who reserve this second boat. So one zero three and one zero five. So we need to get the names of one zero three and one zero five because 
both have reserved the same number port which is of red color so 103 and 105 so we can get 103 as rajesh and 105 as hari so we got uh, the result as rajesh and hari so once again i'm saying so we need to get the color red who reserves the color red so the color red color boat id is 2 okay red color boat id is 2 now we need to find in the reserves table who which sailors have reserved this boat 2 so 103 reserves a boat 2 and 105 reserves the boat 2 so 103 name is rajesh and 105 name is hari so we got these two names so hope you understood this query right next one so finding the color of boats reserved by sandeep now we need to find out the color with respect to the name sailor's name now select color from boats okay comma reserves reserves comma sailors because we are having a, all the three things okay color is in boats reserves that means the relation will be in reserves and name will be in the sailors where relate the things so boats dot bid is equal to reserves dot bid and reserves dot sid is equal to sailors dot sid and sailors dot s name so we need to check this one so s name is equal to sandeep so there is a green color boat so the sailor sandeep have reserved green color boat let us check so go to the sandeep so sandeep sid is 101 so let us check 101 boat uh, i mean which which boat id reserved by the 101 so one so one means boat one is in color green hope you understood see so we need to check the color of boats who reserved by the name sandeep first go to the sailor's name sandeep sandeep is the name of a sailor who is having the sid 101 now go to the reserves table and find out the corresponding boat id of 101 so 101 reserves of boat id 1 so go to the boat table boat id 1 is having the color green so we got the green color so hope you understood this one right yes so next the last one the finding names of sailors who have reserved at least one boat finding names of sailors who have reserved at least one boat so simply we can relate the tables so that we'll get the details so select so what we have to get names s name from sailors so relation reserves boats where sailors dot sid is equal to reserves dot sid and reserves dot bid is equal to boats dot bid so simply we'll get all the details of a sailors who reserved at least one boat now you can observe sandeep one two three four five six and seven are there yes see rajesh having a two boats and hari is having i mean uh, the same person reserved the two different boats so at least one you can observe here so in the sailors table in the sailors table uh, we are having five names sandeep saradi rajesh ramu and hari right 101 102 103 104 and 105 now you can observe so reserves table so 101 so that means already sandeep reserved one boat 102 reserves one boat 103 reserves two boats right 104 one boat 105 two boats so that means you can observe all the sailors reserved at least one boat right now let us say we'll remove the 104 okay we'll remove the 104 so delete from reserves where where um, what is this one 104 no so right where sid is equal to 104 so deleted now you can check select star from reserves 
So you can observe here there is no 104. Okay, 104. 104 means you can observe 104 is nothing but Ramu. So Ramu have not reserved any boat here now. Now execute the same query. So getting all the sailors name who have reserved at least one boat. Now you can see Ramu name will not be available here because Ramu doesn't reserves, I mean is have not reserved any boat. So Sandeep, Saradi, Rajesh and Hari. Uh, so let us check with this one. So we can use a distinct. We can use a word distinct so that we will not get any repetition. Distinct means it will remove the duplications. So these are the four four names who have reserved at least one boat, at least one boat. Right. So hope you understood these uh, four queries. Right. So I have explained to you about the theory and we have I have shown you about executing these queries also. Right. So let's stop here. In the next session, we'll go with a few more queries related to these uh, sailors uh, results in a boats table. So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.